All right, so today I want to talk about Stream Deck and synchronizing your profiles between multiple accounts, either on the same machine or even between multiple machines. And I'll be talking about this with respect to Mac OS today, though I'm sure you could apply some of this to the Windows version. You just have to discover the paths where the files are stored on disk and take a look at what you can do to share those files or somehow synchronize those files between multiple accounts or computers. All right, so I have mixed feelings about the Stream Deck UI. It works well enough when it comes to a single account, though there are some quirks about copying and pasting and moving between profiles that are a bit of a hassle. But in general, it works pretty well. And so let's just say I add a new key here. So I just add this sleep here. And let's just say I set the parameters and I get this exactly as I want it. And now I want this synchronized to my other account on the same machine that has access to the same Stream Decks. So before I'd have to come into the settings, come over to the profiles tab, and then way down the bottom, this little arrow, it's not exactly obvious. There's a backup all option though, create a backup, and then go over to the other account and restore from that backup. The other option is I could go ahead and select a single profile if I know which one I changed, and I could export this one profile. So that's a hassle to say the least. So instead of doing that, I did some digging. And if you come over to the file system, take a look in the app support directory for the Elgato Stream Deck. Inside of here, there's a profiles v2 directory. If you go in there, list out the contents, it's all UIDs, which is a hassle, of course. And if I were to go into one of these, actually, you know what, let's do this. Let's see if I can find where that sleep button was added by just searching through all the files here. All right, looks like there's one added here. and. All right, so the manifest JSON here. Let's go take a look at this one. Oops, come into here. All right, so there's the JSON file, and if I dump that out, I don't like that they don't split this up among multiple lines. They store it in a compact fashion, which I'm not a huge fan of. However, if I were to pipe this out to JQ, I can blow this up. Look for sleep inside of here. All right, so there is the sleep button, and it's positioned on row number one, is my understanding of how this reads, on button number six. And if I come over to the Stream Deck app, let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's probably six right there. I'm assuming this is zero indexed. So is there a six, zero? Yep, there's a six, zero. So that new button is right here. It's inside this JSON file. In this case, I don't have any images attached to it. So I haven't customized the button, for example. But if you do that, those files will reside inside of the profiles as well. And so what I discovered is, come up a directory here, all the way up. So each profile has a directory. You can go into each profile then. I'll show you this here. And there's a manifest file we looked at. So each page within a profile, because you have multiple pages on a single profile, each page has its own directory with a manifest and potentially images in there. So what I found is you can actually synchronize this folder verbatim. And this particular profile is tied to a Stream Deck device by the device ID, which is actually convenient. So there's this manifest at the top level here, not to be confused with the pages. There's the manifest at the top level of the profile. If I dump that out, not as much here. Format that, you can see here is a UUID for the device. And so that links it to an individual Stream Deck, which is cool because you can basically pick up this directory, copy it over to another account, and everything will be synchronized. And so what I did to do that, so that I don't have to run some sort of import process, list out my directors here. You can see I have got a symlink set up for the profiles v2. And if you look at this, it's pointed at a folder inside of my Dropbox folder. So I basically make all the changes into this profiles v2 directory. They're actually stored in Dropbox. And then I synchronize that between my accounts. So if I come over to a different account right now, I am the Wes user. So I'm gonna switch over to a different account. All right, so I'm sitting on a different account now. This is Wes Demos, sitting inside the exact same directory, but in this user's account. I have a list here, you can see I've got the same directory and it's sim linked to the Dropbox folder as well, which is synced between the two accounts. All right, so right now I don't have the Stream Deck running. I don't have the app for it opened up. So if I go ahead and open that up, it'll load the profiles and there you go, there's the new button. And just to show you this works both ways, I can copy this again, paste this here, and then I'll switch back over to my other account. All right, so now back on my other account, I left the app open for Stream Deck. So I'll open that up here. Right now you can see it doesn't have the button visible. And because this was opened, I just need to quit out with Command Q here. That'll terminate the app. And you can see it's gone now and I don't have any buttons on my Stream Decks that are visible. 
And now if I just open it back up, it'll pick up the changes, of course, because it reads them off the disk, and there's a new button.